Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sumi here again with another iteration on our Let's Play Slay the Spire. Uh, so far we have not managed to come out anywhere near on top. This will be attempt number five for us. We're going to keep the rotation going, try the silent again, see if maybe we can't get some kind of poison build or something going, and hopefully at least see the third floor. I'm starting to get a little bit self-conscious, so we're going to try a few different things this time. Uh, I still haven't uploaded anything yet. I'm trying to finish at least like half a dozen episodes just before I upload all this, just so I have some things to point to. Uh, yeah, so at that point, once they're uploaded, maybe I'll get a couple of comments that tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, what I'm not aware of. You know, just some tips. Let's see. Choose the card to obtain. Obtain 100 gold. How close is our nearest shop? Obtain a random boss relic. I don't really like Ring of Snakes. We might do that. But I'm afraid of getting Sneko Eye. <laughs> which would completely just walk out our run. Lose seven max HP, 250 gold. If we lost the seven max HP, we could basically define our run based on shop items, I think. But obtain 100 gold is just so free. Let's just do that. We want an early campfire if we can get it, especially before a boss fight, at least in my opinion. Uh, we might follow this path or Actually, we might follow right through here. Let's do that. Let's start bottom left, go top right. And just flat out kill you. Easy enough. <clears throat> We're going to make a concentrated effort for the, uh, for the third floor this time. I guess there was no point to playing that card. I've been recording for probably over three hours at this point, maybe three and a half hours. So I'm kind of getting a little bit cross-eyed. It's around 10.30 here, so... Hopefully I can still avoid any crazy traps that I might fall into. Speaking of crazy traps... Caltrops. Let's take Blade Dance. Fifty gold, remove a card. Yes. Let's take a strike out. We've got Blade Dance in our deck. We're committing to shivs, I think. I've never had a successful run with shivs before. So thinking back, uh What? No. Absolutely not. Thinking back anyway, maybe Shivs wasn't the best way to go, but I mean, let's have some fun. This might be good if we want to try to just play a ton of attacks. Time Lord might hurt us in the end though. Maybe we'll just take another strike out of the deck, or another defend. Let's take a defend out. Uh, we've got another shop coming up. Let's sit on this gold, I think. None of this is really standing out to me as like, buy me. Okay, this is actually good, because if he drops 12 gold, then we can actually get another removal off. So let's let's aim for that. I'm going to do a bit of damage to him. I don't know if this guy has any power-up moves. Should I try to kill him before he deals damage to me? Let's not. Let's just conserve health for now. I don't know if he, like, does anything crazy. That looks like something crazy. Okay, stop it. But, we got a solid amount of damage off. Bellow. That's a bit terrifying. Okay. Uh, well, this turn plays itself out fairly well. Maybe I should have blocked. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Let's not take any more. I think we've got him next turn. I'm pretty sure we've got him. 14 damage, I think I should be able to find. I'll take a slice. It's free damage. Uh, okay, I 
think you gotta take neutralize as early as possible. Two turns of weak is just really helpful early. We've got enough gold now to remove again, unless there's just something crazy here. It doesn't appear there is. So, let's, we've got slice, let's take another strike out. So far looking pretty good, I think. I'm trying to speed it up a little bit so I can save you guys from having to listen to me talk for 40 minutes. Okay, that was worth. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage. We're not playing a ton of skills, but Blade Dance is a skill. And Survivor's a skill, so you never know. We'll have to heal at some point soon. Before I think about that, though, what do I want to do here? I'm, li I'm liking the way this question mark room is looking. Let's just head there. The boot. Whenever you deal four or less, increase it to five. Shivs deal how much? Four, I think. So that's a slight buff for Shiv. <clears throat> Neutralize as well. Alright, I'm pretty pleased with the way this is going. I'm not even going to lie. We might not actually end up getting much letter opener use for quite some time. I take it back. That was unnecessary, but I wanted to at least flex on the, the shivs a little bit. Prepared, I like prepared. It goes pretty well with what we're trying to do as far as skills go. I like piercing whale as well. I think it turns free when upgraded. Oh no, it's just minus eight. Was that nerfed? I feel like Piercing Whale used to be free whenever it was upgraded. Maybe I'm wrong. We're taking Prepared because it's just a free card cycle. <coughs> Remove a card, lose seven HP. Sure. Uh, hmm. Let's get rid of some more strikes. Next thing will be a defend, I think. We probably need to figure out some other form of block. I keep saying that, and then I keep not doing it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to kill you, I think. Maybe that was a mistake. I think I'll just hit you for a bit. And... Oh wow, I thought that would trigger his curl up. Well, I'm not mad. I am weak though. Okay, blade dance. Oh wait, we got the boot. The boot basically just says no thank you to all of that. Smith here. I'd really like to get something else that complements shivs, because right now we're just not hitting it. Footwork, honestly. Footwork's not bad. It's a power, not a skill. We've got a, quite a bit of block in our hand, and I don't want to, like, stop getting block. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a footwork. I don't see why not. Who's our boss? He's our boss. Let's heal. Boot. 
boot coming in hot. Boot coming in real hot. I guess we'll just tear him down as fast as we can. <clears throat> now seems like as good a time as any to get a footwork in for later. I might not have actually needed to heal, I could have gotten off a free upgrade, but better safe than dead. There's an argument to be made for that being a mistake. And to be quite honest with you, I think it was a mistake, but... Oh well. Let's see if we can't just get some burst on him this turn. Really liking that boot right now. I can get some free block. Actually, I had enough to not need to do that. I am a fool. But it's okay, at least he's not hurting us. Deflect, slice, and neutralize. And I guess we'll just go ahead and play this to get that the letter opener. We always want to start with a prepared. Hmm. What's our order looking like here? I think we're going to do something like this. Pop that off. Block as much as possible. And abuse the boot. Oh, wait. Never mind. None of that was even necessary. <coughs> So sure about this. Never mind, I'm sure. So this might be some kind of play, maybe. It looks good. We're gonna take eight damage because of that, but I mean I think we gotta just roll with the punches because he's getting more and more damage necessary to force him down so what if we just block 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 to get the five damage off now how much is he dealing this turn he's not okay that's fine uh Seems good, right? <laughs> this is taking quite some time. I don't think he's gonna do a whole lot to us that we can feels pretty good. Maybe I could have held off on that, but we're at 55 health. I might as well just lay into him, I think. Okay, down to the 25% mark. I really would like to get him low enough to kill him before he does any, like, craziness, but there's a good chance that's not in the cards right now. Well, 35 HP, you never know.
Can we do 17 before he does 24? Irrelevant since he can't kill us, but I'd still like to. Okay. In Venom, whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. That seems like it should synergize crazy well with our deck. Let's take it. And... Ecto, gain energy. Gain one money and discard two cards at the start of your turn. That'd be pretty cool with a discard deck, but not for this one. Orrery? I don't think so. Honestly, I'll take Ecto. Weird second of lag there. <clears throat> Looks like we're playing a lot faster than we were before, and we're not really messing up too much. It's only the 16 minute mark, so we might make it to floor 3 before we have to stop. Assuming I don't die, those tend to be famous last words for me. Let's see if we can't spend our 100 gold before one of these guys takes it back from us. This, the muggers are kind of a problem right now. So, with that in mind, let's pop in Venom. Let's heavily stack on the poison. Let's see. 5 and 5, or 6 and nothing? I think we just do that, even though we miss out on a poison stack. Footwork's nice, slice is right. And. Oh, I thought we would get a letter opener off. My counting isn't the best. Okay. Poison him. Poison him. Probably should have prepared first. Uh, order. I realize I'm throwing a lot of dazes into our draw pile, but it's okay. If we get shivs this turn, it's basically... I think he basically dies. We did not, but I think he still basically dies. I'm feeling pretty confident. We've got a pretty good build going, and we're only at the start of the second floor. I'm sure there are some enemies that counter our deck pretty hard, but I don't know what they are off the top of my head. So we'll just take a deflect and go. Man, this is exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen. All right, hear me out here. I actually think I'm probably going to end up fire potioning one of them. If they start all that dumb stuff. I probably could have done this without having to do that. Oh well. Gonna do that. Do they still steal if they hit me? I think they do. I mean, if they hit me when I'm blocked, I think they still steal gold. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, at least they die this turn, question mark. Never mind. Let's just drink this. I really was trying to avoid this. The sooner I can just kill him, the sooner I might actually have enough gold to buy something. The reason I'm so dead set on killing him as fast as possible is because now that he's taken the gold, it counts as gaining gold at the end of combat, so I can't actually take it back. So like, 79 is where we're stuck. There's no, there's no way for me to get this gold back. It stings. Poison Stab. That is basically what we're going for, I think, now. Damage with Poison Stacks on it. Okay, our chances here are a little bit better than they were last time, I want to say. So if I, like, Poison Stab... Let's use a regen potion, I think. Hear me out. 
These guys are gonna hit quite a bit. I don't see myself being able to kill them both before this either runs out or is very close to running out. Because we, we take a couple of turns to really get a good setup going anyway. Yeah. Maybe that was wrong, but it seemed good to me. <laughs> Footwork's always appreciated. Uh, this will put him... Well, actually, I didn't consider that it would stack a poison. That would have been better, but it's okay. So we don't take any damage... We're getting the full value of our heal, or our regen, I think. He might actually be dead, like, next turn. Or this turn. 52, and it'd be fighting two imps. I, I can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> If we were like really strong, I might consider it, but right now I'm just feeling like it's gonna get us killed. Is there anything we want to transform? I don't really think there is, but I mean. <laughs> okay. Well, that's something. I think that would stack poison pretty heavily. Does this turn into tin or something? Wow. Okay. Let's try to get some use out of our gold. Maybe some. 79 gold 77 gold it's basically meant to be I can't I can't not it's just it's just asking me to do it mm, let's smith that actually what does this do only costs one in eight okay I think we're gonna go with an eight Honestly, even though this would be cool if it were 10 damage. Well, actually. This actually complements our deck quite a bit because we're not really using any energy to shiv, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Well, obviously it's not going to work this turn. Oh, that's discard, not put back on top. For some reason I was thinking that was, um, Warcry. Oh well. Who do we want to kill first? I think this guy. Just because we don't want our deck to be full of crap. Uh, and we'll just play a footwork. seems like we can probably poison these stacks off pretty quickly. Does this just kill him this turn? Uh, not quite. But I don't think we have much of a choice. Oh wait, next guess we do. I take it back. <clears throat> For some reason I thought we had three there. So he is one turn away from dying. We're going to take three damage, but it's okay. My biggest concern is this guy stacking block to the heavens. Please stop. Okay, that's nice. That's good. So now that we've got that power activated, this is going to be a common thing for us. Okay, great. This is actually... A running pretty well. How close are we? Not. Okay, this is what I was kind of looking for. But, like, now that we're at this point... <laughs> it seems more like a mistake.
Wow. Got it right back, huh? That works. Fear potion. That vulnerability is actually welcome. I'm gonna take a piercing whale. Just like if for the free turn. I might be glad I did that here in a moment, actually, it looks like. Uh, okay, not really any reason to play this. This is a little bit scary. For some reason I was thinking Skewer was the same as Cyclone, but it's actually just single target. So instead, what if we hit him with that? And then just completely go in on this guy. Unfortunately, we didn't have Venom up, but at least we're going to make it through this fight, I think. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, I'm going to hold off on Skewer and for the sake of Venom. I think this will take him to exactly lethal. Okay, good. And we'll block all but six. All right, we really need these guys to die immediately. This is getting a little bit crazy. Okay, so that's 21 damage. We're gonna survive, but with very little health. I'm not sure where this run went wrong, but I'm starting to lose confidence here. Okay, we're not gonna take any damage this turn, so we're gonna at least survive this fight. Now, we can't heal here, otherwise we have to fight the boss. So I think we just adventure through these question marks for a while and pray for a heal. Let's take another look at that in a moment and see. Okay. Well, of course we're going to take this chest. Let's see what the chest has. Kunai, every time you play three attacks, gain one dex. That's incredible for us. Okay. Heal and fight three things? I think not. I can't. I can't. Right? Okay. Kind of useless relic, but it's something. This just kind of hurts my feelings. Please, no fights. Upgrade a card. By all means. Let's get that as an 8 as soon as possible. Oh dear. Okay. This might be the end of our of our run. Okay, let's take two. This guy hits like a truck pretty soon, I think. I don't know if we'll be able to survive when he starts hitting really hard. We're not going to take any damage this turn, and we're going to get him off the field. So that's, that's good. We still have to figure out how to block, like, 14 damage or something from this guy. Piercing Whale would be good. But is it even necessary? I'm starting to feel like it's not. Ooh, this feels like a mistake. Should I have... 
fear potion to him? Should I have focused him first? I think not. The other guy scales too fast. The luck. I can't believe... Well, actually, we're probably still dead. <laughs> we're probably still dead. <laughs> but at least we got kind of lucky there towards the end. We actually live that fight, strangely enough. Unfortunately, we have another fight right after because that question mark was just unlucky. I don't even want to hope. Like, I'm afraid to even pray here. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, because this is probably the end, we're going to try to get this order proper. Maybe there's like a survival chance here, but even if we survive, this guy's going to ruin our day, I think. But I mean, no point thinking about that right now. Let's just try to survive to that point. And we really have to deflect to not die. Okay, well, we're... <laughs> We're sticking it out here, but... Uh, a neutralize seems necessary, just to even, like, have a chance. That's good. That's good. And... We did the best we could. He survives with one health. <laughs> he survives with one health. <laughs> the spire consumes another. Almost got to the second boss again. New unlock. Catalyst is nice. Corpse explosion. I think getting a deck built around that basically guarantees you a win. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, well, that is... We are 0-5 right now, team. The future looks grim for our Slay the Spire career. But I'm not ready to throw in the towel just yet. I would like to at least win once. Maybe get some feedback from anybody that happens to watch. You know, hopefully improve a little bit. Other than that, I guess we'll jump into the next one. See if we can't maybe make number six the lucky run. We'll probably play the defect next run. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching everybody, and take care. I'll see you in the next one.